hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a goosey soup using the frying method you can as well use this procedure i'm about to show you to prepare a goosey soup for a party so if you're interested keep watching so here i've got three cups of a goosey seeds and I've got some goat meat. I've cleaned and washed the goat meat. You can use any meat of your choice. It doesn't have to be goat meat. Here I've got four smoked catfish. You can use stock fish if that's what you want. And here we have three fresh tomatoes, two scotch bonnet pepper, one bell pepper and two onions. Here I've got three tablespoons of crayfish. And here I've got one tablespoon of Uziza seeds. This adds a very nice taste to the egusi if you have it added. I've got some seasoning cubes and some meat seasoning, some salt, palm oil, and I will be using onubu for my vegetable. If you want, you can use spinach, but for a party, a goosey soup, you need onubu. That's bitter leaf. So we are going to add the washed meat into a pot and add one sliced onion. I sliced one onion out of the two I showed you earlier. Now I'm adding the meat seasoning. And I'm going to be adding one stock cube, add some salt. You can add all these things depending on the quantity of soup you are making, okay? So I'm just showing you the method. I, I don't know how to prescribe the quantity of what you need to use. So we are going to add some water almost to the level of the meat. Cover it and let the meat cook until it is well cooked. And while the meat is cooking, we are going to go ahead and blend the egusi seeds, just like so. So after blending it, this is what it should look like, very smooth, it should be very smooth, okay? Now we are going to use the same blender to blend the crayfish and the oziza seeds. Make sure you blend it till it is smooth as well. And this is what it should look like after blending it. Can you see how smooth it is? All right, so this is the fish. I'm going to add some hot water over the fish. Just pour some hot water over the fish and let it sit there. We are coming back for it, okay? So um, now I'm going to blend my peppers, onion, and um, tomatoes. I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces. That way it will be easier for my blender. So um, I don't like to use the... Um, what what is it called that thing inside the <laughs> inside the fresh tomatoes i like to take it out i just need the flesh okay if you want you can blend everything but i just don't want it for this soup So I'm going to slice this half of the onion into thin pieces like so. And here is our peppers, onion and tomatoes. We are going to blend that and set that aside. But make sure you don't add water to it. Now this is the blended egusi. I just added the sliced onion into it. And I'm just going to be mixing it together with the egusi. Add water bit by bit just keep adding water bit by bit and mixing it up I'm going to show you the consistency you should be aiming at all right after mixing it this is exactly the consistency you should be going for not watery at all it is very thick but not too thick either <laughs> so um i just added some palm oil into the pot just enough oil to fry the egusi okay 
and then I added the blended peppers, onion and fresh tomatoes. We are going to fry this until it is dry. All right. So now the tomatoes and the peppers, onion, they are now dry and I'm just adding the mixed eguisi, the eguisi we mixed with the onion, add it bit by bit into the pot, stir it a little bit and let it fry for about 20 minutes. So while that is frying, we are going to clean our fish. While you are on this, please don't forget the pot on fire. Make sure you keep stirring the eggsy. Keep an eye on it. If not, it will burn because eggsy burns so easily and very fast. So make sure you keep an eye on it. So you are going to clean the fish just the way I'm doing it here. Um, take out the bones and all the intestines and all the unwanted <laughs> Um, particles inside the fish just make sure your fish is very clean and boneless so this is what we are going to be throwing away the bones the stick and the intestines from the fish Alright, back to the pot, I'm still stirring and frying. As you can see now, the eguisi has sucked up all the oil and that is a good sign that the eguisi has fried really well. Can you see how separate they are now? It is no more liquidy, just like when I added it earlier. So once you see that your eguisi has developed um, crumbles like this, then you know that it is properly fried. So after frying the eggusi, I added the meat along with the stock. Now I'm going to add the onubu. If you are using spinach, do not add it at this point. I'm adding the onubu because I want it to cook. I'm using dried onubu. I soaked it in water for some hours and washed it properly if you have a very bitter olubu then you might want to cook it before you add it into the pot just cook it separately for about five to ten minutes wash it properly to get rid of the bitterness so um, after adding the onubu i added the dry fish Add the blended crayfish and the oziza seeds, mix everything together. Now taste before you add your seasoning. Like I always say, you have to taste your food before you add more seasoning. Why I tasted it is because I used some seasoning while I was cooking the meat. So I need to be very sure before I add more, okay? So I later added extra two no cubes and some salt. Now I'm just adding water bit by bit. I don't want the soup to be watery. And you can add water depending on how you want the consistency of the soup to be. If you want it to be very light, you can add more water. If you want it thick, then add water bit by bit until you achieve the consistency you want. So we are going to cover the pot and allow the eggsy to cook for extra 10 minutes and it's done. So guys, that is how to make eggsy soup using the frying method. Like I said before, you can use this method if you want to prepare eggsy soup for a party. Trust me, it will come out very nice and tasty and people are going to ask for more, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.